What is up YouTube? I'm Zab123 here and today I'm going to be telling you a really quick tutorial on how you can run Crisis 2 basically almost not having any lag at all. Right now I'm running on a 2013 11-inch MacBook Air and I'm having absolutely no problems running this whatsoever. So let's get started. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the first link in the description or most likely the only link in the description and download this crisis 2 it's a zip file it's not the game or anything uh, it's only 3.7 kilobytes so just download that you're going to need a program like winzip or winrar or something uh, whatever you want to use and you'll end up getting this so open that you'll get a folder and once you open the folder you'll see system.cfg readme and auto exec. Now for the readme essentially what it's telling you is that um, well what it's used for is that uh, whenever you're on PC because this is essentially a tutorial that's going to seem to work more like better for Mac because you'll be able to follow it step by step but if ever there's any steps that you're missing or something well I put everything in here it's an RTF file shouldn't have any problems opening it. So now, what you want to do with system.cfg and autoexec.cfg is you're going to want to find your Crisis 2 game. So in my case, it's right here. You're going to want to go to Show Package Contents, Contents, Resources, and go essentially to wherever this folder is, Crisis 2. If worst comes to worst, if you want, simply go to Show Package Contents, type Crisis 2, and you'll be able to find this folder. Oh, no, never mind forgot to put a space there. There, you'll be able to find this folder if you go over here to the Crisis 2 and you'll be able to open it and this is the directory where you're going to want to paste system.cfg and autoexec.cfg. I already have them there so everything's fine for me but uh, in case you missed it, let me say it again. Open this up, you'll get this, open that up, you'll get system.cfg and autoexec.cfg this, you don't need to copy it into this directory, you can just leave it there. But take system.cfg, autoexec.cfg, both take them and drag them over to here. Um, oh, but before you do that, extremely important, before you do that, make a backup of your system.cfg. If there's anything that goes wrong, you'll be able to go back to this. But as far as I'm concerned, I've done this multiple times, I've tried a bunch of different things. Um, I'm the one who kind of made the, made these files myself uh, while well, I modify them and all that. And uh, from what I've tested, everything should work absolutely fine. And the last little bit that I have to add is that if ever, if ever you want to, uh, because one thing that's disabled in the system, not CFG, is uh, interior shadows, I believe. If you want to turn on interior shadows, this should be no problem. Simply press the tilde key, which, if you don't know what that is, it's this little squiggly line, uh, while you're in-game. What that's going to do is that it's going to open up the console, which essentially a bunch of, like, text is going to appear. And then, you wanna, then you're want to, then you going to want to type E underscore shadows 1. And that turns it on. Or you can just do 0, which turns it off, but it's already off, so you shouldn't really need to do that. And once you're in the game, you shouldn't re really be having any problems with lag. Sadly, I don't think that showing the game to you with my recording will actually do any good due to the fact that uh, uh, QuickTime is recording. And so due to the fact that QuickTime is recording and all that, I don't think that I would be able to uh, properly demonstrate uh, the fact that it doesn't lag uh, as much as you would imagine it to. Uh, I'll still try anyways, but if it doesn't work, then the video will just cut off here. And anyways, this is Amzab123, signing out. Alright, so I'm going to be testing it out now. Uh, I don't know exactly how well it's going to show up on the video. Uh, I know that, essentially, uh, without... Uh, I'm going to turn that on mute. Um, without the screen recording going on, I don't really have a problem running this at all. Uh, 
I don't see why anyone would have a problem. I mean, crying out loud, if a MacBook Air can run it, you know. Then again, a MacBook Air is more powerful than most uh, netbooks, I guess. Uh, unless you're comparing it to some sort of like high power netbooks, then excuse me if I'm wrong. But yeah, whatever. So yeah, we're just going to be testing it out now. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. I've tried recording this before, but it was on a different mission. And um, because outdoor areas, uh, while the screen recorder is on, it really affects the uh, FPS. So, um, yeah, so we're I'm going to be trying one that's a little bit, that starts off in the interior. Uh, and sadly, I have no way to skip this cutscene. So, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll skip it. I'll cut the video so that you guys don't have to see this because it's long and it's boring. So, you're welcome. And we're back. All right. So, uh, yeah, the the whole cutscene passed, and as you can see in here, it's a very bright area. It's not actually meant to be like that because the shadows, interior shadows, were disabled. So, like I said before, E underscore shadows one turns them back on. Of course, this adds, um, it makes the whole game like look nicer and stuff, but it also adds a bit more lag and all that. So, I usually don't play with it on. It actually doesn't affect places like the next area up ahead. If I go E shadows zero, as you can see, what's up ahead didn't actually change. So, let's keep moving and let's just see how this runs. Um, and I know that with the uh, recording software, it shouldn't be running as well as it normally would, uh, or else, trust me, this would look, uh, not look, this would be running much nicer. Like, usually, I run this at around 60 frames on my Mac, so, like, I don't know, I've, I haven't had any problems with it, uh, with my configuration so far, except for, like, the area that's about to come up. It's like your first outdoor area, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty heavy on resources, I guess. So let's go through here, and let's see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, I mean, you know, whatever. So with the so with the recording going on, this shouldn't look as nice. Um, I'm gonna try to make this pass by as quick as I can. Uh, sadly, I can't really skip any of this, uh, but it still gives you a good idea of what things, like, everything still looks nice, like, you can still play it, and it looks fine, but you won't be getting, you know, the, like, ultra settings and all that, because, hell, this is to change your FPS, this is to make your FPS better, this isn't to, this isn't made to, uh, like, make this game look beautiful, alright? Uh, so let's go down here and make sure that no one sees us. I hope no one saw us anyways. Uh, resupply ammo. So yeah, everything still doesn't look that bad. Let's see what it looks like with the shadows on. Yeah, as you can see with shadows on, essentially what it does is that it gives shadows to pretty much everything. That includes trees, people, everything. And overall, it makes the game run slower. Um, although if I have, if I don't have the screen recording on, then, uh, the game actually runs pretty much all, almost flawlessly, even with shadows on, uh, but hey, this is all, this is to really fix, uh, the lag on, like, anyone's things, you know, let's grab a shoe, I didn't even know you could do that, let's throw the shoe, didn't even know you could do that, let's reload our gun, didn't even know you could do that. And let's kill some guys. I did know you could do that. And I'm surprised I didn't get caught. So, yeah. Anyways, this is basically what game looks like. I don't have... Oh, crap. I don't have a cloak here. Is that the guy? Yeah, that's the guy. So, yeah. It runs fine. Alright? Like, if, if you guys complain, then that's really your PC that's the problem. Alright, because uh, I haven't been having like that many problems with this game, it hasn't been 
uh, it's it's been treating me pretty nicely, you know. And right now it's running on native resolution, I believe, uh, thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight for me. Um, if I were to uh, bump it down though, I'd be able to get a solid uh, sixty frames. But I like playing it on native, just for the fact that you know it looks nicer. And yeah, as you can see, textures aren't the best because anti aliasing. Uh, is that what it is? No, anti-cytropic filtering was off. So here, as you can see, the floor is really shiny. E underscore shadows one, and boom, everything looks darker. Lights actually have reactions and stuff. I wonder if I can shoot that light out. And uh, there we go. So yeah, overall, with the shadows on, makes it look nicer. Although. It does kill frames, and um, it makes the game a little bit, you know, not as fun to play. Because who wants to play a game that lags? That's the whole point of this video. Uh, I'm just going to get to the next part, and after that I'm going to end it. Uh, mainly for the fact that I don't want this to uh, go on for too long. Uh, but yeah, so right now, shadows are on. Okay, just kill that guy. Still in cloak. All right, let's turn shadows off. All right, everything's bright inside, but don't be fooled. It's still meant to be dark. Uh, I'm going to run out of cloak soon. All right, so it's going to wait until that recharges. Okay. This guy. Oh crap. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, like it's it's running pretty smoothly. And I mean, for MacBook Air, it's like good, you know, like I actually enjoy playing this instead of just being like, "Oh god, the lag." Uh yeah, it's 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 not too bad. Like you can definitely play this. You can definitely enjoy this. It's not a problem. Uh I know I wouldn't complain anyways. Although as for screen recording and all that, yeah, that's the only thing that's really making this look like it lags. Because aside from, aside from a few might a few minor stutters here and there, it pretty much runs uh, flawlessly. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see why you guys would have any problems with it. Anyways, this is gonna be the end of the video. I appear to be about to die. Time to turn on the cloak mode. Anyways, yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, and once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Amzab123, signing out.